Hey, Kara Bell's Pinching here, aka Miss Success, and today I wanted to shoot this quick video. Actually, it's evening, and um, I was running around all day, had a great day, but I wanted to encourage you guys about something. You know, it is my spiritual godfather, Ivy Hilliard, has a saying, and the saying is, um, <laughs> you're going to live, since you're going to live in your future anyway, why not let it be the future that you design? So I love that, which inspired me for the name of my coaching um, company, which is Your Life by Design. And it really is living your life by, by you know, design and not default, meaning don't just let whatever happens, happens and all that. You really can create the life in the world that you want. But I wanted to share something kind of fun with you that um, I like to do. You know, I do a lot of visualization and meditation, and I do what's called nevelizing. So if you're not sure what that is, there's a, I'll have the name of the person I got this technique from, which is um, Neville Goddard. But anyway, so what I did, I had actually was thinking about, you know, ways to um, impress on my subconscious mind the future that I want to have. Now, I've had a really great life and, um, you know, <laughs> ups and downs like everybody else. But um, I've always managed to come through things and kind of land on my feet. And I realized it hasn't been just by chance or whatever. It's been because... I have set up in my mind, hey, this is, I'm not accepting this. This is not the life that I want. So, you know, I've always been kind of a self-help person ever since I was kind of young. I don't know where that came from, but I was always interested in psychology and all this type of thing. But anyway, I wrote myself a letter from my future self. So I'm going to read to you guys what the letter says. And um, you can do something similar in your own life. And then I read this letter every day. So it's impressing upon my subconscious mind. This is the life that I'm going to have in the future. So my future self is going to be telling me this. Okay. So it says, Dear Kara, just wanted to tell you I love you. And I'm so proud of you. And thank you for living on the other side of fear and procrastination. Thank you for doing what works and only what works. Thank you for being strong through all the rough times. Thank you for giving me the most amazing, beautiful, awe-inspiring life imaginable. Thank you for not listening to the naysayers and for forging ahead even when no one else believed in you. Thank you for never giving up. Thank you for never giving out or giving in. Thank you for the fabulous, highly successful children you raised. Thank you for being the most phenomenal mother I ever met. Thank you for creating so many amazing jobs and empowering people through your many businesses. Thank you for getting up early and staying up late and doing whatever it took to be so very, very successful. Wow, you astound me. Remember when you didn't know how it would all come together? Thank you for nevelizing this glorious, incredible, fulfilling, fantastically phenomenal life. Thank you for all the trips all over the world. Thank you for all the charities and churches you've given millions to. Thank you for holding out for your unbelievable husband, your soulmate, and your dream lover. Thank you for taking such amazing care of your body. Wow, you are so strong, vibrant, and super sexy. Thank you for being an astronomical person, world-class woman, and a super, super role model for your children, your husband, your family, and everyone you meet. I can't thank you enough for amazing dream homes and luxury cars and clothes and the beautiful office spaces, all the thousands of lives you have touched and changed. Just think, it all happened so quickly. Wow. Remember July 19, 2013, the day everything changed for the best. Thanks for always thinking the best, doing the best, giving the best, and living the best. I'm looking forward to so many, many more adventures and years with you. Love, Kara. So, and this is a little bit long, but I just want you guys to do something like that. I encourage you to do something like that in your own life because what it's going to do, it's going to get your subconscious mind working and looking for ways that you can make all of these things come to pass. Now, I've been very fortunate, created a multi-million dollar company and some other successful businesses. And, you know, I'm doing my next business venture. But, you know, um, just these are things that I've kind of always done um, intuitively. And now I understand a lot of the science behind things that I did, um, you know, anyway. So that's what I want to encourage you guys to do today is to write yourself a love letter from your future self. Just thanking your future self for all the wonderful things. So whatever it is you really want your future to be like, then I encourage you to write yourself a letter. 
I have a big giant, let me see if I can get a shot of it for you guys. It is a big giant um, sticky note. <laughs> and I actually have that um, up on my wall, so I see it every day. And I repeat it to myself every day. I read it every day. And I put as much feeling into it as I can. Because if you understand the law of attraction and the science, you understand you want to be on that really, really positive high frequency and high vibration. All right, you guys, I know this was a little bit long, but I really think it's important. Uh, I will talk to you again tomorrow or see you in the next video. Have a great day, Caravelle Scrittenson. Bye, and do something today that your future self will thank you for. All right, you guys, talk to you soon. Bye.